ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion at ito po ang Season 3 of K-Check. Akalain niya, naka-Season 3 na po tayo. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa mga bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yon. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. First of all, Rix. Rix is currently on his last semester here in UP, hoping to graduate soon. His hobbies include playing volleyball, watching series, and singing. He likes to listen to songs that have a good rhythm and a meaningful message. Addy, on the other hand, is a philosophy major of UP Diliman. She likes to play FPS games like Valorant and Fortnite. She also loves to listen to different genres of music, but her favorites are R&B and K-pop. A multifaceted achiever of dreams, Yanni is a consistent top student who wants to become a star in the industry. He's a former theater arts student and is now studying nursing. Reg studies molecular biology and biotechnology in UP Diliman. In her downtime, she likes going on jogs, discovering new cafes, and watching movies. This is her first time to join a game show. So these four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Of course, we have Professor Glesia Tienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And of course, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers in this round are 10 points each. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In music, what string instrument with a drum-like body, a fretted neck, and uh, usually four or five strings may be plucked or strummed like Taylor Swift does. I think it was a little bit too late, but in any case, the answer is banjo. Question number two. What animal do you count to help you get to sleep? Yes, Reg. Sheep. Yes, we count sheep and we count them as first popularized by an English writer during the 19th century. Sheep is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What animal meat is associated with Wagyu and Kobe? Addy. Beef. Beef is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. In math this time, 15 is one fifth of what number? Addy. 125. 125 is incorrect. Rix. 75. 75 is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. The first man made object to orbit the Earth was launched in 1961 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. What is the name of this satellite? I think that came too late as well. In any case, the answer is Sputnik 1. Question number six. Which actor played the role of Willy Wonka in the 2005 film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Reg? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp played the role of Willy Wonka and, as, and Jack Sparrow as well in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Johnny Depp is the correct answer, paycheck. Question number seven, complete the popular idiom with an animal. Curiosity killed Reg. The cat. The cat. That's the correct answer, K-Check. 
Question number eight. In March 2024, this tall bird escaped from a zoo and went on a running tour of a city in South Korea. What is this bird, which is the largest of all birds? Ostrich. Ostrich, Ostrich is the correct answer. Kecha. Question number time. This time in sports, in what shape are the 15 balls arranged at the start of a game of eight? Red. Triangle. Triangle is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 10. At which point Reg leads with 50 points, Riggs, Eddie, and Yanni all need to catch up. Question number 10. In what blockbuster movie about an ocean liner was the character Rose? Titanic. Titanic is the correct answer. Okay, check. This was where the character Rose was played by both Kate Winslet and Gloria Stewart. Question number 11. In medicine, what do you call a doctor who specializes in the health and diseases of women? Addy. BGYN. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is gynecologist, gynecologist lang. Question number 12, and this is the last question for this round. How many milliliters are there in two and a half liters? Ritz. 2,500. 2,500 is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. After that round, we have Reg with 60 points. Riggs with 20, Addy with 10, and Yanni with some catching up to do. And now this is the time for our getting to know our contestants. Diba, mag-isa lang ako ngayon, so mahirap sabihin na it's time now for K Chica. But anyway, it is time for K Chica. <laughs> so in any case, we like this, this, um, we like this portion because we get to know our contestants just a bit better. So let's start with Riggs. What kinds of messages are you hoping to hear in the songs that you listen to? Or what kind of messages do you get drawn to in the songs that you listen to? Um, I want to hear songs that has a hopeful meaning. Mm -hmm. Because as a person, I need, I mean like, as a person, we need to be hopeful in every way that we can. That's all. Oh, parang ano yun, Parang answer sa... Some Miss Universe. <laughs> but it is a good answer, and I'm glad that you find ways and means to feel more hopeful. Diba? So next, Adi, what is an FPS game? And what is the ultimate goal of Valorant? Halimbawa, tama ba ang aking pronunciation? Yes. So an F FPS game is a first-person shooter game which um, allows you to shoot other people in a video game and then um, the ultimate goal of Valorant is to win the game of course. Um, it consists of um, more than 25 rounds so for you to win the game you have to win 13 rounds. Hmm. So it's fair to assume it's a slightly violent game yeah. or a very violent <laughs> game. <laughs> But in any case, we always learn something new every day when we speak to our contestants. Maraming salamat mga contestants. Of course, babalikan natin mamaya si Yanni at saka si Reg. Kasi kailangan natin silang chikahin at know more about them. So round two naman tayo. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Karunungan check. And at this point, we have Reg in the lead with 60 points, Ricks with 20, Adi with 10, and Yanni with a bit of catching up to do. So, Yanni has declared na gusto niyang maging star in the industry. Ang tanong, may industry kaya ito? Performing arts ba or sa nursing? Ano ang sagot dyan, Yanni? Of course po, pareho. Kung kaya naman po, pareho. Lagi po akong, um, ako po yung tao na lagi nag-chase ng opportunity. Um, Unang-una po sa lahat, um, kung papala rin, syempre, kailangan ko pong ayusin o improve lahat ng talent ko. Gusto ko po na magkaroon ng pangalan sa entertainment industry. Pwede sa idling o pwede sa pag-aartista dahil ako po ay isang theater artist. Bago po ako nag-nursing, ako po ay isang theater student. Pero gusto ko rin po na maging isang um, magaling na nurse at maging doktor balang araw. Well, 
Good luck sa iyo, Yanni. Buti ka pa. Ang problema mo ay pumili sa maraming options. Si iba nga walang option diyan. So anyway, good luck to you. And finally, we're saying hello to Reg na ang inaaral ay biotechnology at molecular biology. So, what job are you looking forward to when you graduate from this particular course? Um, there are a lot of opportunities naman that um, are brought by my course. One um, job opportunity I'm hoping to get is um, maybe a lab technic technician sa Philippine Genomic Center mm -hmm. or perhaps maybe um, I'll venture into research or into the uh, pharmaceutical industries pa. Naku, yung mga katulad po ni Reg ay naku naging importante at kailangan-kailangan natin during, time of, during the time of the pandemic, no? So, not that we want any more pandemics, but of course, we want to be prepared for any eventuality. So, we wish you good luck, Reg, and of course, we wish you luck because you are in the lead with 60 points. And we'll see what happens now because it's now time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize because this time in round two, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. This is round two, let's begin. Question number one. The 2015 film Minions is a prequel to which 2010 animated movie that it out-earned in the box office twice over. Addy. Despicable Me. Despicable Me is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What term refers to a device that delivers electrical impulses to the heart or can also refer to a runner that sets a particular speed for a race? This is called a pacemaker. Ako sabi ni Yani, alam ko yan, napag-aralan namin yan sa nursing. Question number three. Which book of poems is the one of the longest books in the Old Testament of the Bible, of course, and has the most chapters? Yes, Adi. This is the book of Psalms. That's the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. In April 2024, a gigantic dinosaur named Shiva the Destroyer was discovered in Nukan province, more than 1,000 kilometers from Buenos Aires. In what country did this discovery happen? Buenos Aires is in the country of Argentina. Question number five in botany. What do you call the fine powdery substance produced by the anthers in the flowers of seed-bearing plants, Reg? Pollen. They are used for the purpose of reproduction. Pollen is the correct answer. k -check. Question number six. What masculine name is given to the golden statuette given annually in the United States during what is called the Academy Awards, Reg? Oscar. The Oscar is the correct answer, k -check. Question number seven. Which disease transmitted by dogs and cats? Reg. Rabies. Rabies is also known for its symptom of hydrophobia. Rabies is the correct answer, k -check. Question number eight this time. What country that can be found both in Asia and Europe uses the ruble as its official currency? Adi. Russia. Russia is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine in science. What specific term refers to the phenomenon when the moon blocks the sun from view, creating a shadow on Earth? Reg. Eclipse. That is the incorrect answer. Rick. Solar eclipse. Solar eclipse is the correct answer. K check. Question number ten. What do you call the droppings of bats and various seabirds used as fertilizer to enrich soil for planting? Ricks. Humus. Humus is incorrect. The droppings of bats is also called guano. Question number 11. 
What is the name of the complex of two towers that were destroyed on September 11, 2001 in New York City? Reg. Twin Towers. It is incorrect. It was called the World Trade Center. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. In what country can you find Petra, which has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1985? The correct answer is Jordan. And that's it for our second round. And after that round, kumustahin naman natin ang ranking ng ating mga contestants. Of course, we have Reg with 100 points. Ricks with 30, but Adi is in second place with 70 points and Yanni with a bit of catching up to do. So ngayon, alam na ng mga contestants natin kung ano ang kailangan nilang gawin sa ultimate pagalingan round. At itong round na to, susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. At this point, Reg leads with 100 points, followed by Adi with 70, Ricks with 30, and Yanni with a bit of catching up to do. Pero, wag muna tayong mag-conclude kung sino nga kaya ang mananalo dahil meron pa po tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So be careful, contestants. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So let's go for those points and for the win. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. And to kick off our ultimate pagalingan round, let's of course call on Professor Glessy to start the rounds. Salamat. Tanong natin ay tungkol sa bundok. Ano ang pangalan ng bundok na nasa Sulu Archipelago na saksi sa malagim na massacre ng buong henerasyon ng mga tausog noong dantaong labing siya? Letter A, Bulkang Taal. Letter B, Budaho. Letter C, Bundok Apo. Letter D, Bundok Cristobal. And letter E, Bundok Canlaon. Ricks. Sorry, wrong answer. Anybody want to steal Yanni? B, Buddha Hu. Okay, the correct answer is Buddha Hu. Okay. Okay, check. Prof. Marla. Science. What holds the two strands of DNA together? A, hydrogen bonds. B, covalent bonds. C, ionic bonds. D. Ricks. A. Hydrogen bonds. I'll finish reading the choices. D. Metallic bonds. E. Van der Waals forces. The correct answer is A. Hydrogen bonds. K. Check. Ang masaya na naman si Professor Marla. Nasagot ang kanyang tanong. Let's see now kung masasagot ang tanong ni Professor Lu. History and culture tayo. Muslims mark the month of Ramadan by which practice during daylight hours? Adi. Ramadan. The choices are... Reg. Fasting. The choices are A, prayer, B, pilgrimage, C, study, D, almsgiving, E, fasting. The correct answer is fasting. Okay. Round two with Prof. Glessy. Okay, thank you. Ano ang tawag sa trickster sa wikang Filipino. A. Pilantod B. Halimaw C. Nuno sa punso D. Pusong E. Lokayo Yan. Pilantod Sorry, wrong answer. Adi. C. Nuno sa punso Sorry, wrong answer. Tricks. D. Pusong. Okay, tinuturing na trickster ang taong ito 
na karaniwang lumalabas sa mga kwentong bayan at dula bilang katulong, alalay o mababang loob na tauhang nakakaalam ng katotohanan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, puso. K-check. Prof. Marla. What medical instrument is used to measure blood pressure? A. Stethoscope. Yani. Spigmomanometer. B. Thermometer. C. Spigmomanometer. D. Otoscope. E. ECG machine. The correct answer is C. Spigmomanometer. K. Check. Pero kailangan daw ispel mo muna. Backwards. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Sige. Next, Prof. Lu. Cultural history. What country is famous for the biggest carnival? Fe carnival festival in the world. The choices are A. Brazil. B. Germany. Red. Brazil. The carnival in Rio de Janeiro is a festival held every year before Lent. It is considered the biggest carnival in the world with 2 million people per day on the streets. The first carnival festival in Rio occurred in 1723. The correct answer is A. Brazil. Okay, check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Lu. Back to Prof. Glessy. Okay. Sino ang antropologo at cultural studies scholar na ito na nagsulong ng araling Pilipino at naglathala ng mga babasahin katulad ng documenting Filipination at mga scholarly journal articles tungkol sa awit ng tayabas. Letter A, E. Arsenio Manuel. Letter B, Arsenio Nicolas. Letter C, Madeleine Nicolas. Letter D, Madeleine Suarez. And letter E, Stella Suarez. The correct answer is letter A, E. Arsenio Manuel. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glessy. For people of a particular generation, choice E, Stella Suarez, gave a different image in their heads, no? Sa mga mas bata dyan, tanungin nyo na lang ang mga magulang ninyo. Prof. Marla. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of prokaryotic cells? A. Presence of a nucleus B. Presence of membrane-bound organelles C. Circular DNA D. Multicellular organization E. Presence of mitochondria Red. Circular DNA The correct answer is C. Circular DNA K. Check Prof. Lu Okay, Philippine history naman. Who was the Philippine president that established the K-12 program? Adi. President Pinoy Aquino. Aside from the above social reforms, the Aquino III administration also signed into law the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, the Domestic Workers Act, and the Human Rights Victims Reparation and Recognition Act of 2013, the correct answer is D. Benigno S. Aquino III. Okay, check. Maraming salamat, Professor Lu. Ito na ngayon ang fourth and final round of our ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Glessy, para magkaalaman na tayo after this round. Okay, thank you. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng bitaw o ang theater training design na ipinalaganap at pinaunlad ng Philippine Educational Theater Association o PETA? Letter A, Broadway International Theater Arts Workshop. Letter B, Basic International Theater Analysis Workshop. Letter C, Basic Integrated Theater Arts Workshop. Letter D, Bayanihan Theater Training Workshop. And letter E, Bagong Indayog Teatro Arte Workshop. Riggs. Bagong Indayog Teatro Arte Workshop. Sorry, the answer is wrong. Yani. C. Basic Integrated Theater Arts Workshop. 
A. Sabi ko na, alam mo yan eh. The answer is letter C, the Basic Integrated Theater Arts Workshop, K. Chen. Talagang naglalaban-laban ang scores ng ating mga tatlong contestants. Prof. Marla. Which part of a light microscope is used to hold the slide containing the specimen? A. Eyepiece. B. Objective lens. C. Stage and stage clips. Yani. Stage clip. D. Condenser. E. Diaphragm. I'll accept your answer. The correct answer is C. Stage and stage clips. K. Check. And the last question for the ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Lou. Social history tayo. What term did Eugene Bluller, a Swiss psychiatrist, give to a group of mental illness with symptoms like hallucinations, disordered thinking, and with... Rick, schizophrenia. Dr. Eugene Bluller first advanced the term schizophrenia in 1908 in a paper based on a study of 647 patients. The correct answer is E, schizophrenia, K-check. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Reg, our K-check daily winner, with a final score of 190 points. We'll see her again tomorrow when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Of course, maraming salamat din kay Ricks, Addy, and Yanni who all gave their best in trying to outdo Reg here. So maraming salamat din sa members ng ating panel of experts, Prof. Glessy, Prof. Marla, and Professor Lu. So this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on KCHEN.